So how do you know if you have a rare penny worth potentially a fortune? In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to make sure you aren't missing any rare penny worth potentially thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Welcome back to Old Money Prices. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about rare coins and paper money, start now by subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss anything. Let's jump right into the video. Up first, we have a 1915D one cent Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 66 red. Now the D underneath the date stands for Denver, which is the mint that it was minted at. That does play a role in the fact of how much this coin sold for. And also remember this coin graded a 66 and the highest grade you can get is 70. And all of these things combined is why this coin sold for $6,325. Only getting better here. We have a 1914D for Denver, one cent Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 65 red. Red meaning the overall appearance and color of the coin you can see there's also a good amount of toning on the coin which is why this coin looks a little red and orange and collectors just love the way these coins look and that's why this coin sold for nine thousand dollars now imagine getting a penny back in spare change and being able to turn that penny into nine thousand dollars like this one and it only gets better from here here we have a 1928 d one cent coin created by pcgs a mint state 66 red and it has a cac sticker so the cac sticker on the the coin means that another third party company looked at the coin and agreed with the grade and said that it looks really good for its grade. So surprisingly enough, this one little sticker can increase the value of the coin even more. So if you want to learn how to submit to these companies or you want to know how to get this much money for your coin, leave a comment below. This coin, because it's a rare date and it graded so highly by PCGS, sold for $12,120. Make sure you're looking out for these rare dated coins. This is a 1942 D one cent Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 68. That's only two grades away from the perfect 70 grade, which is really, really hard to get. And that's why this one sold for $12,650. This coin is just beautiful. This is a 1926 S. S standing for the San Francisco Mint, graded by NGC, a mint state 64 red. Again, red being the overall luster and tone of the coin. You can tell this coin is just beautiful. And even though it didn't grade that high, it is a MS64. And sometimes the more rare dates can bring a lot more money, even if the grade isn't that high. If this coin would have graded higher, it would have brought a lot more money. But still, this coin sold for $13,800. Make sure you look out for this coin. Here's a 1921 cent graded by PCGS, a mint state 67. Even though the coin looks like it was struck off center, you can tell if you look at the left compared to the right, it looks a little bit off center, but that's still okay. And this coin sold for $14,950. So if you have a 1920 coin that doesn't have a mint mark anywhere below the date, that means that it was struck in Philadelphia and it can be worth a lot of money. Even in the lower grades, you can tell underneath Lincoln's eye that looks like there's a little gash there, but it's still graded really high and sold for a lot of money. This is probably one of my favorite types of Lincoln head pennies. Here we have a 1909 one cent VDB graded by PCGS, a proof like 65 red and brown. So a lot of things going on here. I'll start from the top. First of all, this is a 1909 coin struck in Philadelphia, and you know that because there's no mint mark underneath the date. Next up, you flip the coin over. If you look on the back bottom of the coin, you can see the initials VDB. That was the initial designer of this coin. So if you ever see VDB anywhere on your coin, specifically 1909 pennies, they can be worth a lot of money. On top of that, this one graded a red and brown. You can tell the overall luster and color of the coin. It does have some really pretty toning to it. Lastly, it was graded by PCGS, a proof like 65. And it graded as a proof because of the overall luster and color of the coin. And that's why this one sold for a lot of money guys. This one sold for $32,900. Here's a good one. So this is a 1913 one cent Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 67 red. You can definitely tell that the color of the coin is different than the ones I've showed you before. And that in the combination with the 1913 date is a really rare date in this high grade. But even in the low grades, the coin is going to be worth hundreds or thousands of dollars. But this one sold for $34,000. 
$1,500. Here we have an error coin. Now this one sold for, if you think the last one sold for a lot of money, just wait until I show you these next two. Here we have a 1944D, D standing for Denver, where the coin was struck, one cent, Lincoln head penny, created by NGC, a mint state 62. So not that high of a grade. You can see there's a lot going on here. It looks like there's a little bit of damage and whatnot, but this coin was struck on a steel planchet. Now remember, every 1944 penny should look like a normal penny. It should have that bronze look to it, like a normal penny. The interesting thing is the 1943 coin were all struck on the steel planchets, and in 1944, they were meant to be struck on the normal planchet. So this is an error. It wasn't supposed to go out like this. So again, if you have a 1944 coin and it looks silver like this one, it can be worth a lot of money. So make sure that you don't get ripped off. You don't get scammed. Go to someone that's trustworthy and that knows what they're doing. We have a website where we buy coins and paper money every day. Go to oldmoneyprices.com if you have any questions. This coin sold for $92,000. So make sure you're keeping an eye out. Do not miss this coin. Speaking about missing coins, this is one that can definitely go under the radar. Do not miss this coin. This is a 1943 S, S standing for San Francisco, one cent Lincoln head penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 63 brown. It has the CAC sticker again. This one was struck on a bronze planchet. So every 1943 penny was supposed to be struck on a steel planchet, not a bronze planchet. So this is the reverse of the previous coin I just showed you. So every 1943 penny that you find should be steel. But if you find one that is copper like this, you have something that is potentially life-changing money, guys. You're not going to believe me, but this one sold for $504,000. That's right, $504,000, a half a million dollars for this penny that someone probably found out in their spare change one day. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.